Hello there and welcome to Farming Simulator 2017 with me, Stocko Gloss. How are you? I am very well. Well, I am back. Um, it's probably been a, a, a year since I uh, last done a Let's Play, so you'll have to bear with me on the, my first episode. There's going to be a lot of ums and ahs, I'm sure. Um, getting used to talking to myself again <laughs> in my office. So, yeah, I, I have, I've had... Um, I've had a, a break, I suppose. Uh, it was a deserved break, really. Um, I had, uh, obviously, a change of job, and I bought a house and and stuff. So, um, yeah, it, it was a deserved break, and, and and I'm in the right place now, and I've, I've you know, put a, a lot of money into into this. You know, I've, I've bought a new, a new system, a new computer, and, and the specs will be on my YouTube uh, about. Um, and... Um, yeah, so so I, I've I've invested into this and I, I, I want to do it. I, I do enjoy it and I love the interaction I got with you guys as well. And um, I know I've lost a few subs uh, <laughs> over the year and I don't blame anybody. Um, but if you're watching this and you haven't subbed, then uh, please press that red button and uh, and show your love. That'd be lovely. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like to think I'm back. Um, I don't want to give myself a, a, a timetable just yet and say how 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 long I'm going to be. Yeah, you know, or how many episodes you're going to see a week or anything like that. Not yet. I'm just gonna, um, just gonna try and do a video, you know, video every other day, and hopefully start increasing it from there. But, um, but yeah, I've got a few good, good games in mind which I, I want to do, and um, the farming simulator obviously is very close to my heart. It's what my, my channel for it really started. Well, that was a well, that was agricultural simulator back in the day. So, um, I want to keep this up. I've I've put some mods on, uh, and let's just uh, jump into a career. Uh, so we're going to go normal. Um, I got this map called Gorzkawa. Um, it's a pretty cool map, uh, and it enables the seasons mod. So I've downloaded the seasons mod. Um, I've actually got a, a few mods that I just like the look of, and some of them I've never used before. Um, so I'm going to need your guidance, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, yeah, you got the uh, Massey Ferguson, the old generation, 1970-1990 pack as well. That's pretty cool. And we got the uh, the Ford, yeah, the old Ford tractors. You know, you know how much I love the Ford tractors. So, got a few, uh, got a few nice mods as well as all the DLCs that Giants give as well. So, yeah, there we go. So we, we um, yeah, we're gonna start this map, uh, Gors Kawa. Uh, my first, uh, I, I call it, but it's one of my, my first season. I have got the save game from my previous, but I just think you know it's been a year, so let's just uh, let's just start afresh. And uh, these cows, they look happy. Actually, it reminds me. I had a. This is a true story. Yesterday, I watched a program. Uh, was it yesterday or the day before? I watched a program, um, and it was about um, fa uh, facts, and they were they, uh, they were uh, myths and stuff like that. It's similar to the one that's in America, you know, the MythBusters. Uh, but it was uh, it was here in the UK, and it had a load of celebrities trying to sort of you know whether these myths are true or false. And one of them said that cows produce more milk if you call them by a name rather than a number. Oh no, I, I can't be right. Anyway, so they so they done a test and they had fifty cows from one farm, fifty cows from the other farm. The one farm just literally tagged them like you know, like these, you know, the twenty five oh three four, just tagged them and, and and that was it. But the other farm, he actually loves his cow. The the farmer, he loves his cows and he was and he calls every single cow a name. And um, yes, yeah, so, so they they had these fifty cows and they and they tested them the, the morning. They try and kept everything you know the same as possible. Um, the one with uh, you know just the tagging of the number uh, produced I think 602 liters of milk, and then the, the the cows you had a name like Daisy and all that, they produced 632 <laughs> liters of milk. So it must so you know we we have to uh, we have to name our cows so we can maximize our our, our milk production. Um, that did make me laugh. Okay, so course I got course playing. I don't know how much I'll be using it. Uh, yeah, we'll have them because I, I want to make it as kind of realistic as possible. This, uh, this, uh, this. Uh, uh, see, <laughs> tongue tied. Uh, this let's play. So spring, uh, spring is here. Flowers and trees blossom. It's uh, time to cultivate and sow your fields. Okay, so here we are. This is the map. Uh, it's a pretty cool map. Um, there's our house, and we've got um, Mrs. Stock of course. Just, uh, just, just chilling, looking at at the dog, I guess. Um, so what I love about this map is it's very rustic. It's very, you know, it's not very pretty. It's not, 
you know, it, it, the grain's all broken and cracked. And I just imagine this is kind of like, you know, when when you buy a farm, it's kind of how it's going to be, isn't it? It's like makeshift buildings. You know, they just added this on to this one, and nothing really, nothing really works. So this is the, uh, I think this is the maintenance shaft so you can change and you spec your tractors and stuff. Um, now I don't know if you can open these doors or not. Oh, you can. There we go. So you on the door. Ah, okay, so you got a front. Oh, I love that little uh, Renault logo. Um, so you got the front weights in here. That's pretty cool. Um, so this is there where you, uh, where you dump your grain and it goes into a storage in there. Oh, look at the Look at the bits around the lights. You know, you can see all the all the bugs and all the uh, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, this is where you uh, obviously you know drain the grain, <laughs> drain the grain. Where did that come from? Um, okay, there's a, a post on the oh oh how rude. Um, <laughs> uh, we got a nice trailer in there. We got a cedar by the look of it, and a cultivator, and we got a, oh nice. We got um, oh. Uh, we got a grass picker upper, which is cool, and that's where we keep our seeds and stuff, I presume. Uh, this is uh, for slurry. Is it slurry? Oh, the, uh, there's pigs in here, and that is a fertilizer just just there by the washing machine. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna keep a fertilizer anyway, you keep it in the washing machine, don't you? That, 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 that makes sense. Uh, so we got some. Uh... Whoa, they're loud. Yeah, so we got some pigs in there. Um, which, but I've got a mod as well, um, pig feed or something, and it gives you uh, feed for the pigs. We've got a cat looking after the place. Uh, that's the feeding trough. Um, okay, what are they on there? Oh, windows. Okay, so we've got a bit of a garden. Uh, so we've got a petrol station, which is always helpful. Um, and what we got over here? And what's behind door number one? So it looks like we've got some grass cutting machines, which is great. So grass cutting machine, I think this is where you store store your straw, possibly. And um, there's some seeds there. What's this thing here? I don't know. Okay, now we're at the farm. Okay, so it's a cool little farm. You got like okay, some bricks, a trader on bricks. Um, I like it. So I thought this episode really we're just gonna just get to learn our new uh, get to learn our new farm. Oh, there's another another poster. And by that we'll uh, we'll jump in this tractor and have a. Turn those beacon views on. I'm gonna have a gander. Okay, uh, first thing I want to do really is um, just go into here and show the map. So this is the map. Um, it's uh, it's fairly big, <clears throat> and um, what I love. <clears throat> excuse me. You can tell I haven't done this for a while. What I love about it is that the fields are uh, they're not you know your typical. Well, there's one there, but a lot of them are all uh, you know quite messy and stuff which which is quite nice um so there's quite a few selling points that we've got uh tartac spinnery i'm not even going to try and pronounce these um you've got the, obviously these are the uh the cost uh, for the vehicles uh and attachments there's our finances the animals um okay so i'm just going to put the time scale down to real time for a moment because uh, with the seasons mod, um, now if you go to Alt F, uh, you can see the weather really does affect this uh, this mod. So you can see Tuesday it's raining, Wednesday it's cloudy, Thursday raining, Friday sunny, and it gives you an idea of the temperatures. So I think the first temperature is the you know sort of temperature in the sky, and then the second temperature I think is the ground temperature. Now the ground temperature is important because if we open up this um, the grain temperature is when we can actually seed these um, these seeds I guess <laughs> we can sow these seeds so a wheat 
the grain temperature must be more than five yeah, five degrees C. Uh, so when it's in blue, it means you can't do anything. You can't sow these um, where grass is three, and I think it's four, is it, at the moment? Yeah, so you can see in the top right corner, you can see a little sprout uh, sprouting up. It says four degrees, where well, the outside temperature is actually minus two. So it's pretty, pretty cold here um, at seven o'clock in the morning. Um, but the grain temperature is at four degrees, which means that we can we can actually sow grass. But that's the only thing that we can sow at the moment. So we need to start preparing our, our fields, and um, and sow our uh, yeah, and, and sow what we need to sow. So in green it says planting season. So in green we've got to sow these in you know within this uh, in this time. So you know one to three, four to six, seven to nine. I believe that's days. So this is spring, summer autumn winter um so in the first three days you know we cannot do any sunflowers or soybeans but after four, you know after four get days we can uh up until nine days well this one you can start in in summer in the first three days of summer if you wanted to soybeans but the grain temperature's got to be 10 degrees so there's some limiting factors in when you can plant uh seeds and and, and when you can harvest uh in yellow you see is harvest so uh, the um, in autumn, you can see you can harvest wheat and but you can start at late summer, but autumn, so that's when you can start. So what this stops you doing is really spamming the 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 you know rinse and repeat. So it's a very slow slow uh, progress, and some of you may not be into that. Some of you uh, you know quite like the realism uh, of this mod. Um, having to look at grain temperatures and things like that, and uh, something I, I, oh, I'm quite interested in. Um, but just want you to know, it's going to be a fairly slow season. There's going to be lots of videos, but it's just going to be fairly slow paced. Like we're not even going to be harvesting every episode. It's going to be, you know, a lot of work and 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 <laughs> not much return really. So um, I'll try and obviously skip and forward stuff as much as I can, but. I don't want to just do this rinse and repeat until we get enough money and then buy stuff, you know, because we can all do that ourselves. But having to be managed like this, uh, I think is fairly cool. Um, now, the season length is nine, but I'm going to change it to six, uh, to six days. Now, this is, you know, obviously it's going to be one to two, uh, you know, three to four, five to six now. Um, so that's how, that's how it breaks it down. So I think nine days for a season is it, a bit too long. So... Because you can do a lot in a day, you know. Um, so we go six days, uh, snow track, snow mode. Yeah, because I think it snows in the winter as well. And in the winter, you can see, you know, we can't really do anything because, uh, you know, the the, you know, we can harvest uh, oil seed radish and poplar. Now, if you if you're clever about it, the oil seed radish, I believe, um, if you cultivate it, it gives you plus one in fertilization and stuff like that. Um, you know, ready for your your seed in in you know in uh, in spring. But um, yeah, so it just adds another level of realism. I hope you guys are happy with that. Just, just need to understand this. Not going to things are not going to be moving as quickly as, 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 as probably what you'd expect. Um, but we got quite a bit of equipment here. Um, so yeah, let's have a as it's brightening up. Let's uh, let's go have a wander. Bring out the map so I know where I'm going. That's it. <laughs> I nearly got lost in the. Uh, nearly got lost in the. Um, in the farm. I I love the sound of the, the wheels on the tracks as well. Okay, so this is a big old number one. This is a big old field. I, I should say we own. Um, let's go into the other screen. Actually, it might be easier to to see. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we own um, two, ten, and nine, um, and we also own all these W threes and W twos. Essentially, I think what they are that they're just grass, um, uh, just grass fields. So I think they're common fields that you could just go in and and uh, you know cut the grass when 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 you need to. Um, it says use an hour of fields as, as as grass, if that makes sense. So essentially, we own two, three, ten, and nine. Uh, just over the way. So let's go. Uh, let's go and have a look at our fields first of all. They, there's other things to this mod, as in places where to sell like bales and grass. And uh, I, I, I haven't. I don't know too much about it really. Um, 
I probably need your help. To be fair, I probably need your help as you know as, as much as anything. But this is uh, our second field, and uh, unfortunately we've got a electrical uh, post on it. That's that's no problem. And um, over here is our our W3. So this is the the grass field that anybody can that anybody can uh, harvest the grass from. I don't know how to get in there, but uh, oh, and we also got number nine, which is this little uh, this little field here. Every little counts. Yeah, so we've got that to uh, to cultivate as well. Now, we can cultivate it because the grass is above freezing, which is good. So we can cultivate it uh, at the moment. We just can't plant anything until the grain gets above 5 degrees C. Um, and our third field, which is field number 10, is just down here. Nightclub bar. Wow, okay. So when we've uh, finished our farming for the day, we can go clubbing. So this is a uh, quite a nice field, field ten. Yeah. So there's our three fields. I've got a feeling. Ah, yeah. Okay, this is something new as well. Uh, you need to do maintenance on your vehicle. So if you look on the. Uh, on the left hand side you see 29.9 engine hours or 36 days until maintenance is required now if you don't maintain your vehicles I think I've got a mod where it costs more if you don't maintain it and also I th I th the vehicle just won't work it will just uh, it'll just break down on you and you have to tow it back uh, to your maintenance um, yeah to the maintenance place I, I, haven't, I haven't quite worked out where that is but um, I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments uh, to, to do some maintenance on it in order, in order to bring it back up to spec and it, it's also really clever like if you leave your vehicles outside and unwashed you know it increases that maintenance um, the maintenance uh, countdown I guess so there's loads of little things that you have to do in order to, to maximize the maintenance of your vehicles and things so it, it's a real it's a really intuitive um, mod and I'm uh, really excited to use it because it just adds that extra level you know you got so much to think about now it's not not just um, you know rinse and repeat rinse and repeat on the on the sewing and the harvesting so oh another dog god that sounds so realistic so this is where we sell the milk um so we have a we have a lady here, I guess, who sells our, who's huge. Yeah, I always look up to uh, to milk sellers. And uh, yeah, this is where we sell our milk. I think it's just there we we have our connection. So that's cool. So it's not an automatic um, milk selling thing. I think we've got some sort of milk silos at the uh, at the cow at the cow farm. So we'll go back down here. Oh, oh, by the dog. It's amazing you can hear the dog bark so cleanly inside the tractor. But um, we'll go down here and then turn left. Where am I trying to go? Is it left here? Yeah. There we go. So head down here. Uh, we'll go up and have a look at uh, what this way is. So yeah, I hope you're uh, happy with the uh, with, with the mod that I've chosen. Uh, if there is any mods that you guys want me to uh, to have a look at, then please let me know in the comments below. I do read every single comment. So this is just another sale point. I'm not quite sure where this is, but. Um, Oh, and you can sell. There's there's trains on this map as well, and you can sell to the train. You just reverse your trailer up up the ramp. There you go. There you go. Dump your grain, and it goes into your into the train.
Ah, rhymes. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. There we go. Um, what else do you want to look at? What's this orange dot? I have no idea what this orange dot is. Okay. Oh, I suppose you could put sort of, you know, you could maybe put some placeables. You know, it's a nice area for, you know, if you wanted to add anything to the map. So where do we want to go now? Let's go over to the Gospar Disto. Nope. Not even going to try and pronounce. Uh, I think it's Polish. Yeah. I don't know any words in Polish. So it looks like, you know, the, the, the fields look more realistic, I suppose. Um, what have we got here? We've got uh, Royman, Plotty, Nowagard, and Zhijin. Cool. But yeah, I think this map looks beautiful. And, um, you know, I'm going to put this first episode. I'm not going to do another episode until I see some comments on this one. Uh, and just tell me what you want to change, or if you're not happy with the map, or you can recommend a better map, um, then do so. Um, it's just I had a, a good look around in this one, and I do like this. I, I, I like the rustic rustic look. Um, and here, we've got another, another farm. So if he's on a multiplayer, then somebody can actually work from this farm, which is really cool. Uh, right, there's um, a manure pit here. Now, I couldn't figure out whether this is to sell your manure or to buy manure. I don't know where you can buy it here. Um, but yeah, you get manure and you got you know, both solid and liquid. So I don't know what what the crack is with that. But um, this is the sheep farm as well. So they do keep sheep here. So yeah, there's a sheep farm. It's a bit woolly at the moment. Did you get it? A bit woolly. Sorry, that was a that was a bad joke. Okay. Um, next, we are take a trip to Tartak. Let's go to Tartak. Um. You can also obviously got missions still, um, but the missions. You know, what's really cool about the seasons mod is that um, you can only do certain missions at certain times of the year. So it won't let you do a harvesting mission um, in winter, you know, because you just don't do any harvesting in winter. So when you're busy on your own farm, is when you can be busy on other people's farms. So when you've got nothing to do, you've got nothing to do anywhere else. So this looks to be the logging place if you. If you want to do some logging and uh, some sawdust, where you sell your sawdust, I guess. And there seems to be quite a few trees that you can uh, you can log. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, I just changed insurance numbers. Uh, it looks like an, yeah, I think an orange dot is a placeable thing where you can place different mods. Uh, where are we going now? All right, we'll take a butcher's down here and have a look. Oh, what's this? Uh, somebody in the middle of the road. Oh, oh they're uh, hitchhiking. You're hitchhiking in that. Okay, you're brave. You're brave. I wonder if you can steal someone, somebody else's uh, bales. Like, if you buy it, do you get the bales? I don't know. That looks pretty cool. And then Jimena goes out. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look at that crow. 
so yeah, I'm really excited about this map. Um, it looks pretty. It does. It looks really nice. Um, and uh, I, I can see it being our home for the next uh, 50 episodes quite easily. You have to let me know what you think. Oh. Yeah, parts do look a little bit run down, but uh, you know, with the money we're bringing into the city, you know, as a as a as a good farmer, we should be able to uh, play some more money. Get it? Play some more money into the city. So this is the um, yeah we've been passed here. It's where we buy our equipment from. Um, okay, so we're gonna go to Gorzenia or whatever. Oh, what's this? Oh, I'm a big fan of uh, sort of digital readouts. What's this? Um, okay. A soybean, isn't it? Whoa, it's like a big factory. Oh, this is so cool. Reminds me of the uh, James Bond um, GoldenEye map. <laughs> Back in the day. So what is this place then? You just... <clears throat> is that water? So you can sell water here? I don't, I don't, okay. Water. Pigs. Oh, you sell pigs here. Uh, milk. Okay, so you'll have to let me know what this is. Because this does look really cool. Um, so if anybody knows, uh, please put a uh, comment down below. I'll try and uh, put a link to the map. Oh, if you're interested. <clears throat> and what's this place here? This is just another selling point for a factory. So I think you can sell it there or possibly sell it there. Oh, God. Okay, looking good. Oh, gosh, sorry. Right, let's have a look. Well, it's just a biogas plant, really. Let's just do a quick U turn here. Oh, the speed cameras. Oh no, this is just another orange dot where you can put stuff. There's the bioglass over there. Let's go the proper way. Well, there's loads of fields for us to uh, have a go at. And things are not too far away. It uh, sort of takes ages to get there, so... And there's plenty of nightclubs. <laughs> it's just what you're looking for, you know. On a map, on a farming sim map, you know, you're looking for a, you're looking for a, a decent nightclub. Oh, I had a bit of a, oh, a bit of a stutter there. Okay, so this is just your, your bio, your biogas plant. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, what's this? This is new. Compost Master, organic waste crusher. So is this where you put your um, your silage? 
compost, organic waste only. Oh, right, okay. It looks lovely. That's new. Well, there you go. Well, we've we've done the map. Um, it's uh, it's only twenty five minutes past seven, so we haven't wasted too much time. Uh, but I'm really interested to 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 hear your thoughts on um, on the map, on the season mod, on uh, on any any mods that you can uh, you, you see. I need to add. Um, so yeah, you know this is our let's play, uh, mine and yours. So, whoa. So if there's anything that, uh, any feedback you can give me, that'd be great. Well, I head back to the. Uh, oh, you can play a bit of football. I head back to the farm now, and I'll uh, see you in the next episode, whatever the next episode is going to be. Oh, is it that fishing? So I'll tell you what. We're going out here and. Uh, Oh, he's fishing with his cat. What is that sound? Oh, wow, that is awful. Okay, I think they're supposed to be ducks. Maybe the... Uh, maybe the sound for real ducks was, uh, you know, too much of a big bill. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah, bill. Has, yeah. Okay. So... I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Soccer Gloss. Take care and ciao for now.